Hello guys, and my name is Yolita William. I'm the owner of William Massage and Skincare, and please don't mind me wearing this hat today and having a swimsuit on. I'm about to go to beach a get together, and it's Saturday um, with our close friends. So um, I wanted to make a video before I go about this a mask I received uh, from Amazon, and I tried it yesterday. It's one ingredient, natural calcium bentonite clay. I used it with water. I didn't, excuse me, I didn't use apple cider vinegar because I thought it might be too strong. I'm just kind of not too comfortable adding vinegar on my face, even though it's organic or Bragg's, um, because this is already pretty intense. I feel like people with dry or normal skin probably should not use this. The only way um, useful I see for people with oily skin, or I know it works people with eczema, dermatitis, it can, clay can help even like from poison ivy. So there's different many uses for this clay. Now this one specifically says do not ingest. So this is, I guess, processed in a way that it's not safe to ingest. But in general, calcium bentonite clay is also safe to ingest and some people use it for digestive help. Like if they have um, diarrhea or constipation, I don't know, I guess it works both ways. Uh, it's supposed to clear out the toxins because it's very absorbent. If you ever have any sort of mask like charcoal or any clay mask, you know that it gets tight. So this is the same, just more because there's no other ingredients, no moisturizing ingredients like in other masks. Um, I was doing the other day the rose mask, which had clay in it, but it had other ingredients. Actually, I like that better. Those are gonna be more expensive. This one is only like $9, something like that. And you need a little bit. I mixed way too much than I ended up doing on my back. But my back actually got red. It's gone now. But I um, feel like for sensitive skin types, my face didn't really get red and my husband's face didn't get red and he has kind of sensitive skin, but my back kind of got red. And I put a picture up here. I ended up also on my blog. I'll put that up um, but and I didn't feel any pulsation it says feel your face face pulsate I guess that's the maybe marketing tagline I don't know um, now it says world's most powerful facial definitely not world's most powerful facial there's way more powerful facials that you can get at uh, dermatologist's office at estheticians offices like peels and stuff like that uh, laser treatment so you know, it's marketing, you know, you don't believe everything you read. Um, there is no USDA approved seal anything, but you know, it is, I guess, just clay, just from earth and it smells kind of like that. It smells like swamp, especially when you mix it with water right now, it doesn't have any strong smell. I do like that it, they did not add any fragrances or anything like that because that would just ruin the natural ingredient. But I did mix it with water, and like I said, um, I, I th well, it has the clay has like antibacterial, I guess, properties in it too. So, people with oily, acne skin, I can see how this could help. However, even for them, I wouldn't say use this every day, maybe once a week, maximum twice a week, and use a light moisturizer even heavier moisturizer if your skin's on a drier side and you're gonna use this, then you're not gonna really need to restore the, uh, the, the, you know, because I feel like it just draws out not just oil, but kind of the moisture too of the skin. So, but you know, it's best, one of the best sellers on Amazon. I guess people love this stuff. Not saying anything bad. Um, haven't used it enough to really kind of tell if how, if it, if I had acne, would it really help me? I do have oilier skin. Like when I woke up this morning, my skin didn't have any additional issues, breakouts, anything. But I've had peel a couple weeks ago, so I think that's why my skin is good too. So I didn't really have any issues trying to solve with this. I just wanted to try it. But I've heard that people help. I mean, I can see how it would help acne because 
that dries out all that oil, but that's not always the best way to solve acne issues because you gotta keep on doing this. And then your skin get overly can get overly dry. Like with Proactive, you know, this can help acne, but it has side effects. I see this having some side effects too. So I feel like better maybe find a, a treatment that is not drying, but also very effective with acne, like exfoliants, like HA, BHA, acid, salicylic, benzoyl peroxide, uh, retinol. That's my uh, review of this mask. Let me know if you have tried this mask. What do you use it for? I know the people I saw YouTube use it for like underarms and for um, definitely ro serum, serum rosacea. Very, sorry, not rosacea, the eczema, dermatitis. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. You can find me at Brilliant Massage and Skin um, and find an, all, all our other professionals there if you're looking for in-person facials, massage, when we are in Burlington, Vermont. And I think I gotta go now. I would appreciate if you enjoyed this video. Really would appreciate thumbs up. I want Instagram and you leader Brilliant and YouTube and my blog, you leader Brilliant. Have a brilliant day!